Sup, 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 guys. We're here. Welcome to my gaming channel. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Right where we picked off from the, the last part of the Let's Play for the DLC. We are coming close to an end because there's not crazy amounts more to really do because I'm just kind of burning through this DLC because I know my way through it and exactly how to approach it. But this is going to be... This is going to be the send-off before the boss. You would say we're going to open this bitch up. We're going to get that shortcut open pretty much. But I, if I remember right, you got to take a long way around. So that's the tree I have to knock down for this area here. But obviously I can't quite just yet. And the reason I can't is I'm going to have to go deal with that crap. <laughs> Every time I say, anytime I say I have to deal with that crap, it's a, it's a fun fucking experience filled with bullshit. And fucking more bullshit. I just like saying it that way. I really do. Hello, friend. He just roll out of the way for his attacks. He still gets me. Like, okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna make my way up here to this this little ledge. I wonder. I doubt I would survive it. I know there's a way down there if I remember right. All right, you wanna you wanna fight? I get it. You wanna fight? Hold on. Hold on. Stop with the spamming. Start with the jamming. Booyah. I just really wanted to do that ever since I started recording it. Alright, take him out. Keep running. You ain't got time to waste, man. You ain't got time to waste. We could head down this way. There's a wolf right over here, if I remember right. There he is. There's a wolf. <laughs> there is a large titanite. Well, two large titanites there. And then down... Over here is, if I remember right, this is the, let me just take this guy out. This is the, the torch that you spit fire from. Yep, that is the torch that you spit fire from. Another large type knight. Which will be good, because I do want to upgrade the uh, the follower javelin. Because that weapon is fun to use. I don't know how how great it is, because problem is, I have not fully, ooh, hello. Thank God I did not take a step up, right? <laughs> that... That could have ended so badly right there. Get this wolf in the face. There we go. Ow. I want to do it flawlessly, and you guys just want to fuck that up for me, right? Ow. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Mom. The wolves keep hitting me. She would say, shut, uh, shut the fuck up. Grow the fuck up and, and, and fight the wolves. Kick their asses. That would be my mom in a nutshell. Alright, did I take out all the wolves? Because I don't want them following me up where I'm about to head off to. Yeah, I took out all the wolves. Okay, I don't know if we actually have to go down that way. Because I don't quite remember the exact route for this. Oh yeah. This is that annoying ass route. That reminds me so much of Anne Orlando. That it just makes me want to grip my hair and rip it from the fucking very peak of my brain. Yeah, well it doesn't... Well, my scalp I should say, not my brain. Yep. This is one of those scenarios. So, bait this fucker over. After you bait that fucker over, then you can deal with the other fucker. That's that's a nice way of putting it. Or, as I like to put it, the real way of putting it. I'm not gonna waste a really good eye. Oh, fuck. I, j I just realized the, the freaking bow hit right at the time I was talking. Just bait him over and piss him off. And he's gonna charge... He's gonna be mad. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. Oh shit. Don't call him buddy. I need to freaking switch weapons here. Ow. In short, he wants to smash more than your foot. I hate how, like, tight this little area is right here. Because he can get you good with that shit. Basically, if you allow yourself to get hit, it's, it's not going to end well. They see me using that rock to my advantage. There we go. 
Large Titanite. Then we can go deal with asshole number two over there. Who keeps like shooting fucking bows at me. He wants you at a distance pretty much. But you do not want to remain at that distance. Just keep whacking him. Till this happens. And then send him flying cause 300 baby! That would have been so funny he would have fell to his death. Would have been so fucking funny in my eyes. Large tight night slab. Or shard. I think it was shard. And then this is exactly what you want. Because now you can just... One straight way down instead of dealing with the crap way that they they want you to deal with it. Is the easiest way to say that. Um, I'm not... This should work pretty okay against these guys. So it, it should be fine. This is going to take a few minutes because you do not want to rush this here. Because these things will put their uh, insides in you. I do not want to show an example. Because it is... Yep, he's, gonna, he's about to do it. There it is. He will, he will molest you and then he will infect you with his children. His love children. He will not send you child support. He will just infest you. And it will be fucking disgusting. And you do not want that inside of you. Trust me. It, you, you will not consent to that. That is that is like beyond kinkiness. You do not want that crap. Do not tell yourself you want that crap. <laughs> there are three floors to this little section here. And we're going to kill everything here, but... Oh god. That, that did not pan out. But... So, if you hit this wall here... That happens. Don't 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 waste your shit like I did. I just thought it was funny to summon the lightning to to open the doorway and be it'd be funny about it. What does this say? Ambush. Okay. Well, I like ambushes. So, hello. Goodbye. So much for an ambush, right? So much. You could you could see you could see he's under there waiting for me to to come up, and he's gonna try to get behind me, and and just want to. Uh, Want to do things, but we can actually knock him straight down. And kill him. <laughs> one hit, one kill. And the third, uh, the third level is actually over here. So we just hit that guy, and then we go straight up this way. I'm not. I don't remember exactly what's up this way. I think this leads back to the first part where I said, "Oh yeah, that's like the final boss of the DLC," but she won't engage us until a later time. So, this is going to lead back to the chapel, which is good. It's good to have this shortcut. It really is. So, this shortcut is now open. That leads back down here. So, instead of going the long way, now you have this way, which allows the, the girl that basically was sitting there talking about her uncle, allows her to actually travel back for a nice little, not really event, but something really interesting to say the least. And what's funny is... When you realize that you're underneath the chapel and what you have to do here to get to the final boss, it actually makes a lot of sense that they put it right underneath. And it's funny that the whole world in that sense is connected to... It, it, it reminds me so much of Dark Souls 1, where basically, you know, you can, you can go straight down to Blight Town or like all the way up to, you know, something else. And the only real separate parts are like Anno Londo, and even Anno Londo is multiplexed. In you know all its different components, it, it's really cool the way that they handle it, and I just I really did enjoy that throwback to it. Hello, dog. Um, there's an insect freaking chasing me. I'm trying to drag him out. I do not want his friends to molest me because it would not be a good thing. It would not be a good thing. But basically, just murder out all these. There's like 15 of them or 20 of them in here. It's it's a ridiculous amount. You know they have an infestation. I called the uh, exterminator. He didn't get back to me. He said he said he won't he won't deal with these kinds of bugs because these are the worst of the worst. And I told him, man, the fuck up. He told me to go fuck myself. And I haven't heard back from him since. There's also another um, no, also another hidden door there. Oh my God! There's the bleeding that will constantly build up and constantly want you to uh, rip your hair from your head. And hopefully, I have something to stop it. I do not. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to go back upstairs after I do this. But I'm going to have to be very, very cautious here because this is not good. They're going to keep puking on me. Oh, there's exactly what I did not want to happen. Thanks. Thanks, FromSoft, for making this shit. 
uh, of these disgusting creatures that just want to violate me. <laughs> With their insides, and it's fucking nasty. There's no, there's no way of really putting it, otherwise putting it. It's fucking nasty. <laughs> you combine insects and things that want to molest you. It's not good. It's not, oh my god, they're just all over me right now. I just wanted to do it again. Look at this shit. Stop it. Good god. Alright, this should be the last one. Oh, no, there's another one over there. Alright. This is great. Yeah, it's puke on me. You little shit. Come here. Come here and die. You don't deserve to exist. In this virtual space, you don't. Alright, that takes them all out. There's armor there. And then there's this here, so we're not too far off. Oh my good god, die. Just, just fucking go away. Just fucking go away. I'm not even gonna be nice about it. Just fucking die and go away. Don't come back. Don't sit here and try to be BFFs with me. Just get the fuck out. It's disgusting. I don't even want to talk about it. As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. So with that open, we can now fight her. And uh, before we do, we're pretty much going to summon a bunch of people. Because it is not in a boss that I like to fight alone. Not here. Um, I thought that was the spot. So I'm not actually going to engage what's behind the wall of mystery down here but I will show where the wall is so basically on the next episode that's when I'm going to deal with that whole thing is what's behind this wall which is really cool but uh, because I don't have like my Estus the way I usually like to I'm just gonna take this little bugger out there's a twinkling titanite is just too fucking good because of that I'm not going to really uh, approach it till the next one because I don't know how many attempts it's going to take for this boss. I don't know how long that's going to take, you know, by itself. And I, okay, I, I thought it was lost here. But pretty much in short, we're not that far off from finishing the DLC because I've been through the DLC once. So I have good, I have really good memory when it comes to how do I want to approach everything and like where I have to go to approach everything. I do not want to take that pathway. I want to take over here. And in short... Don't be, uh, don't be sour that basically the DLC may seem short, but there's a lot of, like, other areas I did not go to. I may end up making a part five that goes into those areas, but those areas are a lot more difficult than pretty much the first boss was for me. At, at least for me. Probably because I use a heavier weapon and just tight spaces, but it is what it is. You can see there's a summon sign there. And basically, that summon sign is for the guy who wanted us to come into the DLC. And he will actually fight part of it, to say the least. But you can see there's not too many summon signs. It's not going to be a good experience. But you guys can tune in for that on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, make sure to smash that like button. And make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one. Till then, peace.